This week's above average temperatures have warmed up soils across the state. The High Plains Regional Climate Center recorded soil temps Wednesday that range from 36 to 48 degrees across Nebraska. As we look ahead to planting season, UNL Steve Mason is with us on this episode to discuss corn planting. We talked with Steve on the fields at East Campus Wednesday afternoon about seeding rates in corn planting. We started by asking about the current trend in those numbers across Nebraska. If you look at the trends in the last 15 years, definitely there's a trend towards higher seeding rates uh, in corn, not only in Nebraska, but throughout the corn belt of the United States. What kind of numbers are we seeing farmers plant in those fields? Uh, it varies a lot, depending upon uh, availability of water, either from Mother Nature or from irrigation, uh, the hybrids that are being used, the production systems, what kind of yields the farmers are getting out of the field. So it's really hard to put a, one number out there as being what, what's being commonly used. As growers increase those seeding rates, what's the expected response that you would want to see? Well, we're, uh, we, you know, clearly we'd expect there would be uh, some kind of uh, a yield response. Uh, the literature shows responses usually either being a quadratic, goes up and reaches a peak and comes down, or a quadratic with a plateau. So you reach a, a peak and then it plateaus uh, at that. And that with higher, uh, uh, we, higher seeding rates, higher yields with newer genetics, uh, when we limit stress, which in Nebraska would largely be uh, because of water, uh, there's evidence that shows that early maturing hybrids will show a, a greater yield response because they uh, have smaller plants, fewer leaves, and a smaller leaf area uh, from that. So, uh, you know, in general, uh, responses are going up, and those are factors that influence the amount of yield response we'd expect by increasing uh, seeding rates. Overall, does the research support that going to a higher seeding rate will increase yield? Uh, Sometimes, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's commonly thought that uh, yield should increase with uh, seeding rates with our newer genetics and newer production environments. Uh, and at the same time, we would expect that uh, we have potential at least for increased lodging uh, and harvestability issues as uh, uh, we put more plants together, we get taller plants and thinner stalks, higher e ear heights and stuff like th that uh, to happen. And, that, that is often the case. But yield responses sometimes are kind of inconsistent, are not exactly what we expect. Why is that? Good answer. <laughs> uh, if I knew that, I probably could make a lot of people happy uh, about that. But there's been studies in, in the last few years um, uh, in different places from uh, uh, eastern Nebraska to the Corn Belt to New York to Croatia and Europe that have shown in particular uh, settings that there's no year response to uh, increasing uh, uh, seeding rates. Um, and so the exact reason for that is really, really hard to ascertain. Um, and they actually, one of the real interesting studies used private seed corn data. So they had lots and lots of uh, data from a seed company uh, modeled these things and found that, uh, let me get the numbers here right here, but they found in high yield environments no response in their study at more than 25,000 plants per acre. And in medium yield environments, no yield response at greater than 18,000 plants per acre. And low yield, uh, low yielding environments of 14,000, which that would be pretty typical of the research results we have from western Nebraska as well. But uh, an irrigated corn farmer in Nebraska to think of seeding 26,000 uh, seeds per acre uh, would be pretty unbelievable to do that. But those yield responses, inconsistent responses do happen and we don't really understand why or when they're going to happen. So in conclusion, if a grower calls and says, Steve, what do I do this year? Is there a clear recommendation? Well, I think we go with the standard of what we kind of expect uh, based upon uh, not these exceptions, but the broader research data that in the NIB guide that was published last year, uh, recommendations on average for irrigated corn was about 34,000 seeds uh, per acre as being the economical uh, uh, amount to apply. And then obviously reducing that when we have uh, water stress or other types of situations present that would be typical in, in dry land production. So I don't think there's any reason to change that recommendation, but we should be aware that there are some of these yield inconsistencies that uh, do occur and they occur a little more frequently than what we would expect. Mm -hmm.